Hi to the Patreon family. So I just got an air fryer in. Okay, we'll do an unboxing. Uh, we're getting the doors painted back there, so just kind of ignore that. Where is the air fryer? Uh, there's something unique about air fryers. You know, there's uh, a movement that's been going for quite a few years. Don't use Teflon, don't use aluminum, because the aluminum is going to affect your brain. And Teflon is going to poison you and all that stuff. So we moved away from it for everything except air fryers. Air fryers seem to have a free pass. So this air fryer is unique, and number one. And number two, it's on sale for 29 bucks. How can you ever understand that? How can they make an air fryer for $29? So since there's a lot of stuff going on in here today, uh, the painter guys here and the uh, other contractors, so maybe I'll open this up in the Christmas room and show it to you and give you an idea why this is a steal. And it really is, okay? It's like a $50, $60 air fryer, and it's on sale at Walmart uh, for $29. Crazy, right? All right, let me open it and show it to you. Hey, I got this out of the box, and let me show you what it's about. First of all, it's got two claims to fame, okay? So the first thing is, uh, I guess I would have to say is the price. Let's get the electrical plug down, okay? would have to be uh, the pricing. So 29 bucks is very cheap for an air fryer. I couldn't build an air fryer for $2,900, I don't think. But what attracted me to this is everything that's in an air fryer is usually non-stick. So this is the, the, the what the food sits on, and this is the pan that slides in to the drawer. It's kind of like a drawer, and that's what we got going on, okay? This is supposed to be inside, but uh, I don't have it plugged in right now. I just washed everything down. So this is the control panel. When you plug it in, it's got a thousand lights. It looks confusing as could be, all right? But it, there's basically just uh, two or three buttons that work. On the left side is a time, a time up, time down. And on the right side is temperature, temperature up, temperature down. That's the buttons that work. Oh, and start, which is here in the middle. But it lights up with all these little presets and people that buy this particular unit are always trying to push these buttons and nothing happens. It, they don't, they just light up. They don't do nothing. Nothing, honey. Okay. All right. So this particular one, why it attracted me even before it went on sale, before it went on sale, it was like, what, $50, $60. All right. The, the, uh, it's stainless steel and the inside here is ceramic. All right, so all of a sudden we have no Teflon, no nonstick surfaces, nothing that can be scratched up. This sits inside right here. It's got these two holes for your fingers, and if it's hot, it's hot. When I say hot, I'm not kidding. It is totally hot uh, in terms of temperature. So this goes in here. This is <clears throat> 1810 or 1812 stainless steel, and this is ceramic coated. People are probably not paying attention to the fact that these guys are healthy compared to all the other ones where, oh, it's dishwasher safe and non-stick, okay? So this goes in here, you put it in here, you put your food, you close this up, you start it up. That's what an air fryer is. It's a combination of a toaster and an oven, not an oven toaster because the, the, the heat stuff comes from the top and the heat goes down to cook your food, okay? And you set the time and the temperature. And that's what I'll be working on on the uh, on the channel. So I'll put a link to this because at uh, 29 bucks, it's almost like a steal. All right. Now, let me tell you a little bit of a negative. This is stainless steel, which means somehow they stamp this out with a machine that goes and it makes the, the thing. These corners are sharp enough to cut your finger. They're not quite like a razor blade, but mighty, mighty close to a razor blade. OK. So, I don't know, are you uh, handy enough to know that they make like a black sandpaper that's called like a like a emery cloth type of a thing? Okay, so I got some of that. I got a package of different ones. I got the very fine one, and I sanded all these down so I can uh, run my fingers across here, and there's no cuts. The first few times that I used this guy, okay, my hands were bleeding on the front, the knuckles, the back. And it, it's because when you wash it, uh, it actually slices you open. This is all fine, okay? It's when you turn it upside down, 
And the edges, because it comes around here like this, these edges are sharp, really sharp. So I sanded them down with the emery cloth. Problem solved. This thing is waterproof, okay? Even though it's got a window here, it's basically waterproof. So I put some liquid Dawn in here. I fill it about halfway up. Then I go eat my meal. I prepare my meal and stuff like that. And in an hour when I come uh, back to it, I take this out and you want to know something? It basically wipes off. It's really stainless steel. So th and this comes in white and it comes in black, okay? The, why am I telling you that? Just to take up space? No. The white one is the stainless steel stuff inside and the ceramic coating on the, on the wall. So all these walls here are ceramic coating and the bottom basket here is stainless, okay? The white one is like that. If you get the black one, it's all a uh, non-stick surface. So it'll be all black in here and you could scratch it. And I'm guessing in about six months to a year, it's gonna be all scratched and you're eating Teflon or whatever the new name of that is. So use the links, so you get to the right one. And when they're done, they're done. 29 bucks. Okay, so let me give you the measurements on this. All right, I got my handy dandy tape measure. Okay, so wide, it's 11 inches. Wide, it's 11 inches, so it's pretty much square. And from the countertop to the top, it's 13 inches. But you've got to give it a little room because it sucks air, uh, cool air in from the top and blows the hot air out this vent here. So, uh, you know, give it a little room. You don't want to burn down your house. And it does have a thing where you could wrap your wire. But once I set it on the counter, it's to set it and forget it. I use this two to three times a day. I make eggs in here. I make steak. I make hamburgers. I make French fries. When the boys came down, I made French fries. I put it in here. And it, it's a lot of fun. And I, I haven't used the stove or the oven since the, uh, the unit came in. So it, it's quite handy. All right, that's it for my Patreon users. Uh, I do need to tell you I put the uh, Tamron uh, 17 to 28 uh, millimeter lens on here, and this is the 20. I have it, do have it set for the 28. Oh, this is the E1, and I'm using that mic, that new one that I said you get it for $15. It's $25, the Ulanzi uh, shotgun mic. So that is what you're hearing, and I got it plugged in. Um, I I'll give you a little review, maybe for tomorrow. Okay, so uh, that is what you're hearing. All right, catch you guys later. Love you. Thank you. Later. Bye.